it's Mino. Welcome back to another beautiful day in the garden. Today we're doing something very exciting. We're trying out some of uh, Christina Welch's Parage Posse paints. I have three of them that I'm using today. This one is Shelly's Masquerade Shimmer. This one is Morning Pansy Shimmer. And this one is Galaxy Blue Shimmer. So I'm pretty excited about this. And this, I have, this is the first time I'm using them, so you guys will learn right along with me. <laughs> I am excited about this stuff. We're going to be doing a 20 by 20 inch gallery wrapped canvas from the edge. I have taped the back and put the push pins in. I'll scoot that over and I'll show you all of the colors. This is the Morning Pansy, which is very, very pretty. Nice deep purple and I do see a lot of sparkle and shimmer in there, which I'm excited about. Um, we also have, let's see the midnight blue one this one is galaxy blue shimmer very very sparkly really happy about this I love that color and the last one that we're using from Parage Posse is Shelly's masquerade blue it is blue yeah masquerade shimmer okay so gorgeous color okay the other ones I have this one is deco arts dazzling metallics in pearl white or white pearl. Well, oh, that's really pretty. Everything is mixed with Liquitex gloss medium and the paint and the flow drop. Okay. Then we also have Arteza's Glacier Blue, Pearl Glacier Blue, which I really love this color. So pretty. Dries so beautifully. So that's exciting too. And last but not least, we have some of our Treasure Gold series from Folk Art in Platinum. And I used this one in Galaxy Far Far Away. Also. Not super thick. And then I also have a cup of drips. This is from Galaxy Far Far Away and from Tourmaline Opals. And it's actually a really pretty color. <laughs> So this is literally what I've scraped off my table and kept in a cup. Pretty thin, thinner than that, so. Okay, so what are we going to do today? Um, I've done a lot of wandering straight pours lately. And the thing that I noticed in the last one that I did that you guys haven't seen yet was there's really a huge difference between how high or how low you hold the cup off the canvas. So when it's lower and there's more paint coming out, you're gonna get more of those fingerlings. Versus if you hold it up higher, you're going to get that more diffuse, straight pour look. So that's kind of what I want to play with today, doing those fingerlings with intention. And we're going to see how this goes. Okay, and I am going to use that as a base coat. So I'm going to put that down before I pour the paint. But I want to layer my cup first. Actually, we don't need a... We need about 15 ounces. So yeah, we do need to layer this. Okay. Let's see. Let's put some of this beautiful galaxy blue on the outside. And the other thing that I want to do today, instead of thicker layers and only ending up with like six or seven or eight layers, I want to do slightly thinner layers and have more of them. Kind of how Sarah Max layers her cups usually. Okay, so we're going to put a little bit of pearl on there. And then we're going to come into that beautiful morning pansy. So pretty. And some of the glacier blue. And some of that masquerade shimmer. Gosh, that's pretty. Some of the platinum. Back to the galaxy blue again. Glacier blue this time. Purple. If you are looking for these paints, you can look on Etsy for Parage Posse paints and you will find them there. Okay, let's go some platinum again. And thank you so much to Christina for sending them to me. They look beautiful and I'm really enjoying all the colors so far and they're mixed up really nicely. So, And they were nice and thick in the tubs. I'll show you guys in a second. Blue 
case you're blue. here that's a 20 by 20 from the edge already a really pretty color. <laughs> I do use my drift all the time. I would caution you though about using them inside a pour because they can end up drying slightly muddy. Whereas if you're using them for a flow extender, which is what I usually do, most of it gets tipped off. But because this is actually a very pretty color, I decided to use it as a base coat this time. The birdies are back outside again. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. So I do want to do a wandering straight pour, and like I said, we're going to, uh, I want to intentionally make the fingerlings rather than more of that straight pour part. So I'm actually going to turn this kind of diagonally, and we're going to move around. So are you ready, husband? Yes, my love, as you wish. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm going to get closer now. I'm going to see more of those fingerlings appear. Okay. 
Okay, let's look at this for a second. See what's happening in here. Okay, observations. We did get a lot of those fingerlings, like in through here. And we got these up here, which are really pretty. I actually really love this, and I love that dark blue with the midnight galaxy with all those cells popping up in there. I think I like that part a little bit better than some of this because this is a little more muted. I do love these lines and I like these too, but I like that better and I think it would be better if we took some of this off and opened it up up there a little bit more. So let's do that. So we're just going to find the way to the paint again. And some of this top part up. Take some of that off that bottom edge first. Back to the middle a little bit. I like that better already. I love that top area. And I love this part is really pretty and that's really cool. Not so crazy about this edge, but I don't know if it's worth stretching it out even more. Let's see, let's see if we can get, get the weight of the paint over this side a little bit more. thing that I'm not liking is I see that base coat color on this corner. I'm actually going to take the midnight blue and just go over that. There's a little bit of a platinum in there which actually looks kind of neat. It's a little bare on the side. Okay. Which side? Right there in the corner you just read. That? Yeah. That's what I was fixing. Yeah. I didn't oh, okay. okay. So I think I'm going to take it down here just a little bit more and see if we can open up the top a bit. That's pretty cool. Alright, 
I'm gonna wipe my hands off. And we will look at this. I like it though, very, very pretty. That mix, that uh, galaxy blue shimmer, gorgeous color. And I like the purple. I like that masquerade. Very, very pretty. Okay. I really like this thing, that's very cool. And I love this dark blue background with all those cells popping up through it. And I like how that dark blue is like underneath so you see everything on top of it. This is really pretty. Beautiful shimmer and shine on all of this. Nice cells. Cute, very cool stuff. So this is the Parage Posse paints from Christina Welch. We had Shelly's Masquerade Blue, Morning Pansy Shimmer, and Galaxy Pan Galaxy Blue Shimmer also. So this was really cool. I will show you guys this one in a stride. Thank you guys so much for being here with us. I'll see you soon. Okay, so this is a few days later now, and this one is totally dry. This turned out so beautiful. I really, really love these colors. This was the Parage Posse paints from Christina Welch that she sent me. Um, in the morning glory and the midnight galaxy blue color and that beautiful Shelly's masquerade shimmer just beautiful really really pretty and I used the folk arts treasure gold platinum and this is a really beautiful piece I really like this one kind of dramatic that like cascade here along the side with that beautiful veining so this is where I was doing the fingerlings intentionally they came out really pretty. I like how they look stretched out. Not so crazy about this look, but I really love this stuff. So, there's my boy. Hi, Zen. Sweetheart. How are you? <laughs> He's been hiding all day. Finally come out to play. So this is kind of awesome. And uh, I really love this piece. I'm going to call this one Masquerade, because I really like that word. <laughs> and... Uh, I highly encourage you guys to try those Parage Posse paints because they were beautiful. They did mix up very nicely and they kept their colors and uh, I thought it was so cool. The morning morning glory shimmer it got me thinking about it because I used to have morning glories in my backyard and they are that purple color and then in the afternoon they kind of switch to a darker blue which is pretty trippy. So, But this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this one. I love straight pores. I like playing with them. I like all the beautiful effects you get. Like that midnight blue is underneath on the bottom and all this stuff is floating on top of it, which is really cool. Very neat cells. So definitely gonna be playing with these some more. Thank you all so much for being here with us and Zen. And uh, <laughs> we'll see you guys soon. Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Bye-bye.